ओम ज्ञान तिमृंधस ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरोन्वैष्णवाश श्रीप सागर जात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सबूत परजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधापाद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका का राधा का नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षे नम पंच तत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतागदाधर शिवास गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद से तोन्वयादित चाथसुभिजस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदिकव मुयंतूरय तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यसर्गो मृषा धाना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुहक सत्यम परम धीमहि नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्ति अस्त विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यान तो भूता शिव मिथोधिया मन सद्रम भजता दधोक्षज आवेश्यता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी गीता के इस चौथे सत्र में आप सभी का स्वागत है पिछले सत्र में वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन भगवत गीता इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड फाइव प्राइमरी टॉपिक्स ऑफ भगवत गीता ईश्वर जीव काल कर्म एंड प्रकृति नाउ वी एंटर इनटू द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता इज नोन एज विषाद योग सो बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस ऑन द वर्ड्स विच इज विजिबल इन दिस स्लाइड because it is related to vishad nam na suhan na bandhu kama turanam na bhayam na lajja chinta turanam na sukham na nidra akshudha turanam na balam na tejah 
so we know that uh, that in the indian culture there are uh, four topics which are discussed dharma artha kama and moksha so our life is a journey many times we discussed how is the journey of life going on so journey means to move from one point to another point journey is of two types one is in the place and one is in the time and both are happening they cannot be stopped like now we are on the earth and the earth is uh, rotated uh, is moving so that is also a journey of place like if you sit in an airplane when you are sitting in the airplane you are still moving although uh, when a person is sitting beside us we may think that actually both of us are not moving but since the entire airplane is moving we are also moving so the earth can be considered like a plane and we are on it and although we are sitting beside each other we may feel that we are not moving but because the earth is moving at very fast speed we are also on the journey similarly time is also moving on so the one journey is in the space or akash and another is on the time dimension so we are moving in both the dimensions place and time so for this uh, journey our sages have said that we need four wheels like a car moves on four wheels so those four wheels are of dharma artha kama and moksha but if one tire if is uh, the tire of one wheel is deflated then we cannot move so now the problem in our life is that we have only two wheels left artha and kama the two wheels of dharma and moksha they are out of the vehicle and there are many cultures in which dharma and moksha are not even discussed to nowadays mostly people are of uh, nastic nature so there is no talk of dharma and moksha and uh, if some people have also if they believe in this then they even though they have the wheel but the tire doesn't have any air in it so, uh, human being is mostly working hard for artha and kama from childhood we have studied this our parents have taught this only that study otherwise you will die out of hunger how will you get get money so this verse is telling that when we simply keep worrying about these earth and kama then what happens in bhagavad gita its beginning is based on earth and kama only so this verse says it says artha turanam na suhrit na bandhu that one who is atur for earth or one who is troubled or he is always in anxiety for earth or money or wealth he is only anxious for getting wealth i had discussed in the previous class that that uh, in sanskrit nidhan is called death so we Uh, think that if we have uh, dhan uh, if we have wealth then we are living and if we are uh, if we lose the wealth then we are dead so that's why in sanskrit uh, it is said nidhan death is called nidhan so we see we say that uh, dhan is life but what happens is that when we are attached to it that uh, we are very much anxious for wealth and our mind is totally immersed in thoughts of wealth then neither we think about the suhrit nor the bandhu bhagavad gita we don't think about friends or relatives or well wishers and this is discussed in mahabharat the war between uh, kaurav and uh, pandavas there are warriors on two sides one side there is duryodhan other side there is yudhishthira if you think about both the names in the both the names are connected with war yudhishthir means one who is fixed up or sthira in yudh yudh yudhi sthira that is yudhishthir and in duryodhan also there is yodha from yuddhatu 
बोथ आर ऑफ फाइटिंग नेचर लेकिन बट वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ फाइटिंग वन इज फाइटिंग फॉर अर्थ एंड काम एंड दी अदर इज फाइटिंग फॉर धर्म एंड मोक्ष दिस इज द डिफरेंस इन बोथ महाभारत में इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ महाभारत देर आर एटीन पर्व इन महाभारत देर आर वन लैक वर्सेज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ महाभारत इन दैट इट इज क्लैरिफाइड सो दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड आई हैड डिस्कस दिस अर्लियर ऑल्सो दैट द a pedagogy of uh, the vedic system of teaching bahut it is very deep shiksha lene ke liye unhone bahut achhi padhati for teaching they have a very uh, advanced system and that is through stories because every person likes to hear stories our life is also a story har kaam ek prakar se every work is like a story it's like a katha sanskrit mein bolte hain in sanskrit it is said katham so if you ask some want to ask somebody how is he we say katham how are you katham to jeevan bhi to life is a katha every person's life is a katha lekin usko dekhna hai but what has to be checked is whether that katha is it rotating around artha and kama or it is rotating around dharma and moksha to arjun duryodhan ko kaha hai ke duryodhan सो रिगार्डिंग दुर्योधन इट इज एक्सप्लेन इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ महाभारत ओनली दैट दुर्योधन एंड युधिष्ठिर दे आर कंपेयर्ड विद अ बिग ट्री इट इज सेड दैट दुर्योधन इट इज अ वेरी बिग ट्री दुर्योधन कोई दुर्योधन इज वाज नॉट एन ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन बट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ ट्री इज ही इट इज मन्युमय मन्यु मीन्स एंगर एनवी और ईर्षा क्रोध एंड वेर इज एनवी एंड एंगर इट ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम काम दैट संगात संजायते क्रोध क्रोध संगात संजायते काम कामात क्रोध हो भी जायते काम से सो फ्रॉम काम वी गेट क्रोध और एनवी और फिर उसकी शाखाएं एंड देन देयर आर वेरियस ब्रांचेस ऑफ द ट्री ऑफ दुर्योधन देर इज दुशासन इज द फ्रूट ऑफ द ट्री सो एंड लाइक दिस एंड एनालॉजी इज प्रिपेयर युधिष्ठिर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज महाद्रुम युधिष्ठिर इज द महाद्रुम ऑफ धर्म ध्रुम मीन्स वृक्ष और ट्री युधिष्ठिर ऑल्सो इज अ ट्री बट इज द ट्री ऑफ धर्म अनलाइक दुर्योधन ट्री विच इज द ट्री ऑफ एनवी एंड एंगर सो इट इज द फाइट बिटवीन बोथ एंड इन आवर लाइफ दिस फाइट इज ऑलवेज गोइंग ऑन क्योंकि हम इस समाज बिकॉज इन दिस सोसाइटी वी आर नॉट अलोन वी आर लिविंग विथ अदर्स सो दैट्स वाई यू नीड अ सिस्टम इन सोसाइटी वेदर पीपल बिलीव इन भगवान और नो but the system has to be accepted so that's why there are laws every country will have a constitution and it has its laws there is a system of administration there is a system of justice so that is the dharma to dharma ko to man so dharma has to be accepted if we do not accept dharma the system of governance then there will be complete chaos but uh, human beings nature is that he always wants to find a loophole so that he do, i don't have to work and i should get the result manushya ki pravritti kya the human nature is such that he wants the result but he doesn't want to work to get that result and in gita what does bhagwan say bhagwan says exactly the opposite virodh hi vakya bol rahe hain in gita that you perform your karma and uh, don't be attached to the result and what does human being want that i should get the result and i should not have to work so this is called corruption bhrashtachar aur sadachar this is the difference between corruption and civilization isko bolte hain bhrashtachar ka matlab hota hai so corruption means i should not have to work and i should get the result to ye mansikta hamare andar so this is a very deep rooted mentality in us even if you we go to a sadhu we say that give us some blessing actual blessing is that uh, our mind should be turned towards bhagwan that is real blessing but mostly what type of blessing people want that i should become rich my work should become successful 
तो दिस इज द करप्शन दैट आई शुड नॉट हैव टू वर्क यू जस्ट ब्लेस मी सो दैट आई गेट द रिजल्ट ऑफ द वर्क विदाउट एक्चुअली वर्किंग तो इट मींस दैट आई आई हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग फॉर दैट यू डू दैट वर्क फॉर मी बाय गिविंग मी ब्लेसिंग एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द साधुस हु ऑल आर फेमस हु हु डज दिस टू दिस हु डिड दैट टू दैट पर्सन दिस टाइप ऑफ साधुस आर मोस्टली फेमस तो दिस इज कॉल्ड करप्शन in reality and why is it called corruption uh, our mind our mentality is such that we when we go to sadhu we go with the mentality of corruption only actually sadhu has nothing to do with all this blessing so the, whichever grihastha is performing his work he is performing his karma and according to karma he will get his result apna jeevan jo hai and the virakta the sadhu is one who has given his life to spirituality now we go to the sadhu and ask for material blessings so this is corruption you should go to sadhu to the spiritual person to get spiritual knowledge now bhagwan could also have kept his hand on arjun and blessed him that don't worry don't worry you don't have to fight everything will be done Arjun had gone to Dwarka to meet Bhagwan. So Bhagwan could have told Arjun that don't worry, you will win. This is why people go to sadhus that my this work should get done, that work should get done. But Bhagwan never said anything like this. He said Bhagwan said that I will drive your chariot, but you yourself have to fight. So Bhagwan does not want that we should become corrupt and lazy. that is why we have to keep all the we have to maintain all the four wheels of dharma artha kama and moksha so artha and kama have not been rejected in the vedic system Arth, artha is also important kama is also important but they should be accompanied with dharma so this is the teaching of mahabharat and the essence of mahabharat is bhagavad gita so mahabharat has been churned and uh, geeta is the essence that has come out so bhagwan has been referred to as gopal in geeta mahatmya and he has churned all the shastras and take, uh, taken out geeta so this verse says that those who are anxious for artha they will not worry for their suhrit well wishers nor the bandhus so yudhishthir is also in a brotherly relation with uh, uh, duryodhan they studied well they studied uh, together they played together but when it came to wealth and kingdom then duryodhan said that i will not give you even an inch so that's why neither suhrit nor bandhu so this we can see in our family so when we are uh, young then we Uh, in childhood we live we live nicely with each other with love but when we grow up then there is so much fighting among each other so this is very surprising that those who were living so lovingly in childhood after growing up they become enemies of each other they don't want even talk to each other they are ready to even kill each other so why does it happen because of this artha turanam na suhrit na bandhu that one who is anxious only for wealth he has uh, no suhrit no well wishers no bandhu so in order to explain this only vyasdev wrote such a big story so this is what we have to understand so if we understand this then only and and we apply this in our life if this happens in everybody's life it is not that it happened only in duryodhan and yudhishthir's life this is common in everybody's life next is he said those who are kamatur those who are always anxious for kama they are neither afraid of anybody they are neither ashamed of anything like we study uh, read in newspapers that uh, regular we get news of this uh, lady was raped that lady was raped although there are such strict laws against rape but uh, when uh, man's mind is totally afflicted by lust then he has no fear and no shame that why am i doing this so many uh, we see here news that uh, father is making relation with daughter brother is making relation with sister so there is no shame that kama is such a thing which can completely uh, corrupt or destroy a person's character 
That's why in Gita Bhagavan says that Kama is our biggest enemy. So Kama is the biggest vairi, the biggest enemy of ours. We think that our enemy is sitting outside, somebody in some place. But no, our biggest enemy is sitting in our own heart. So as long as there is Kama inside us, there will be Krodha, anger only and all others will come together. Then we will become, then we will have no shame in uh, doing any kind of immoral activity. So in order to teach this, Vyasadev taught Mahabharata to humanity so that we can learn and apply this in our life. And it is not like that those who are very lusty, very kami, they are very happy. No, they have to face all these troubles. After breaking the law, they will be caught and then they, they have to face all the results of their immoral activities. They have to face uh, so much embarrassment in society and they will be very miserable. One who is always uh, anxious, one who is always having some tension, whether it is of artha or of karma, neither he will be having sukha, neither he will be happy. In Gita, Bhagavan is telling that uh, everybody wants happiness, but if your mind is not peaceful, you cannot be happy. If you actually want happiness, then first of all, you have to keep your mind peaceful. If your mind is not peaceful, you can uh, uh, you can accumulate no matter how many comforts, how many means of happiness, you will not feel happiness. Because the experience of happiness and misery doesn't happen in the body, it happens in the mind. Like we experience a form with our eyes, we experience smell with our nose, we experience taste with our tongue. Similarly, we experience happiness and distress with our mind. But if our mind is not peaceful, then we cannot be happy. Like if we have a painting in front of us or some text, if something is written, like there is a screen, the verse is written. So if we keep shaking our head, can we read it? We cannot read it. So similarly, if our mind is continuously shaking, then we cannot experience happiness. That's why it is said, Chinta Turana Na Sukham Na Nidra. That will not get sleep also. Because uh, sleep means we have to get rid of all the tension. So nowadays we have become so much advanced that we have to take tablets for sleeping. So is this advancement or it is degradation that we should deliberate on that? The most basic need of our life, drink, uh, having food, drinking water, having good sleep, we can't do that also without consuming some tablet. Then what sort of advancement we have made? One who is hungry, he will neither have strength nor he will have any tej. So what I'm trying to explain through this verse is that the foundation of Gita is based on this. If we understand this, then we can understand Gita. Because Bhagavan has given the solution for these problems only in Bhagavad Gita. All the problems of our life are in this verse. There is nothing outside this. This verse of Garud Puran contains uh, all the problems of our life compressed and accumulated in this one verse. So the solution of the problems which this verse is telling, the solution lies in Bhagavad Gita. Because we were having this topic earlier also, why should we study Bhagavad Gita? Generally people ask this. So Gita takes us from Vishad to Prasad. So, what is vishad or dejection? Why do we become dejected? Like it was told in the previous verse. 
द प्रीवियस वर्स इज द कॉज ऑफ विषाद और डिस्ट्रक्शन द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता इज एंटाइटल्ड विषाद योग और द योग ऑफ डिजेक्शन धातु है विसरण गति और साधन ऐसी धातु है एक संस्कृत की उस पर घे प्रत्यय लक्ष्य विषाद सो दिस इज द एटिमोलॉजी ऑफ द वर्ड विषाद वी शद एंड घे सो इट मींस टू हैव डिजेक्शन इन माइंड टू बिकम डिजेक्टेड नॉट फीलिंग एंथुसियाज्म फीलिंग डिप्रेस्ड उसको बोल दैट इज कॉल्ड विषाद तो हमारे जीवन में विषाद सो इन आ एवरीबॉडी इज लाइफ In each of our lives, there is uh, vishad happens, depression comes, we feel dejected. If we are not a spiritualist, if we are not walking on the spiritual path, then in our life, vishad is guaranteed. Nobody can stop vishad because vishad comes in mind, and if mind is attached to earth and karma, then definitely we will have vishad. and uh, normally we don't analyze it so deeply like this if we analyze it carefully then mostly our mind is in vishad or dejection or depression only those who have everything they also have vishad whatever we are trying to obtain every person wants to attain something but they you will get many people the who already have what we are desiring for then logically that person should be happy because i am thinking that if i get this particular object or post or position or this much amount of wealth i will become happy but we will see many people in society who already have that which we are desiring for so then logically they should be happy but if we go and study their life then we will see they are also in the same miserable situation like us so happiness doesn't actually depend on these material objects happiness for happiness first of all we have to purify our mind and this is what gita teaches us so in sanskrit we have these two words vishad and prasad prasad to prasad generally people think that prasad means what we went to temple and we got some prasad whether some uh, sweet or anything but actually prasad means prasannata और हैप्पीनेस प्रसाद मींस प्योर माइंड प्रसाद मींस व्हेन आवर माइंड इज इम्प्योर इट बिकम्स प्योर दैट इज प्रसाद सो दिस इज द डिराइवेशन ऑफ वर्ड प्रसाद प्र सद एंड घे तो गीता जो है ये विषाद तो गीता बिगिन्स फ्रॉम विषाद एंड 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 टेक्स अस टू प्रसाद प्रसन्नता ये उसी धातु से आया है उसी प्रकार विषण भी शब्द है विषण माने डिजेक्ट तो विषाद इज विषण विषण मींस डिजेक्टेड प्रसाद इज प्रसन्न मींस टू बी हैप्पी लेकिन प्रसाद का मतलब निर्मल बट प्रसाद आल्सो मींस प्योरिटी तो पहले अध्याय का नाम विषाद योग है सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज एंटाइटल्ड विषाद योग बिकॉज़ इट शोस अर्जुनस विषाद और डिजेक्शन अर्जुन हु इज सच ए बिग हीरो Uh, powerful strong uh, very intelligent the in most intimate friend of bhagwan he also had vishad so who are we we are lekin gita mein antim arjun but what is the last word of arjun in bhagavad gita arjun ka antim what is the last statement of arjun arjun says labdha tvat prasadat maya chit अर्जुन यूजेस द वर्ड प्रसाद इन द इन हिज लास्ट स्टेटमेंट इन भगवत गीता प्रसाद आल्सो मींस कृपा और यू मर्सी तो ही सेड दैट माय मोह हैज बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड आई हैव माय स्मृति हैज कम बैक बाय योर प्रसाद सो दैट मींस गीता बिगिंस विद विषाद एंड टेक्स अस टू प्रसाद so now it is up to us whether uh, whether we want to live in vishad or we want prasad if we want prasad we have we will get it only from gita no matter how much we earn and how much uh, we satisfy our uh, lusty desires we will not get prasad because arjun is telling i have got this prasad from you the prasad can be obtained from bhagwan only one who has something only he can give that in material world people have vishad so they will give us vishad only bahut log 
many people want that yeah, i should get married to him or her it happens and after then then what happens there is vishad or no we keep fighting one who those people for whom we were dying to get their association in our life and we were telling that we can't live without you and then after some time i this we say i cannot live with you <laughs> the same person for whom we were telling i cannot live without you now we hate him or her so much why this is how material world works it's a it's a law it cannot be broken this is how material world works the same place from which we get happiness from that same place or person only we will get misery we cannot stop if provided we are not devotee of bhagwan if we do not have the prasad of bhagwan then vishad is guaranteed nobody can stop that is why gita is an extremely essential uh, shastra in india it is very easily available to us so we should spend some time in gita at least uh, spend one hour every sunday to uh, learn bhagavad gita so it will be useful in our life in all fields of our life it's not that gita is useful only in the spiritual aspect of our life we will learn how to manage how to have good relations in family how how uh, where, uh, to have good relations with out people outside so everything is in gita but we have to study properly people study gita they just recite the verses that is also good but we have to learn imbibe that knowledge and we have to digest it in our life we have to actually apply that knowledge in our life it was spoken for that purpose so now pehle we uh, move ahead to the first chapter of bhagavad gita the first chapter of gita is called arjuna vishad yoga to ye bahut hi ek prakar se aashchary so this is a very strange word vishad as well as yoga because yoga person thinks that uh, yoga means mind is peaceful that is yoga that we are meditating so vishad how can it become yoga how can dejection be yoga what is the relation of vishad with yoga because in gita the 18 chapters every uh, chapter is entitled in its title their word the word is yoga so first of all we have to understand what is vishad we understood what is vishad or dejection that means uh, dejected mind not feeling enthusiastic depressed feeling sad miserable not feeling like doing anything don't want to talk to anybody so when people are generally they are in vishad and if it is a very deep state of dejection then people go and uh, they get into some addiction it's very common they will either get into drinking wine or taking drugs so that is not vishad yoga wo aapko vishad ka koi that is not some solution to vishad it is simply trying to forget the vishad to vishad ko bhul jao so addiction can make us forget vishad only for a temporary only temporary time so because that addiction its influence will fade away and then we will again get into vishad in fact now our vishad will be even more it will be deeper than the previous state of dejection so what is addiction in sanskrit nasha is na samyaya na means not and sham means shanti so addiction is that by which we don't get peace to log nasha karte hain ki isse mere ko so people do addiction or nasha for getting peace or shanti but uh, the word nasha itself means it will not give us peace it simply takes us into tamogun or the mode of darkness jaise mere ko bhook lagi hai so this addiction takes us into mode of ignorance now suppose we are feeling hungry it means uh, now i should uh, uh, eat food so when i am feeling hungry 
if i simply go out and play and all and i want to forget my feeling of hunger will i will my hunger go down no i am mean, simply trying to forget it so when we come back we will again feel hungry so similarly addiction is not a solution to dejection so how to solve this dejection through yoga that is what bhagavad gita teaches us so the word yoga has many meanings one meaning of the word yoga is a uh, medium or a way of solution the method of solving something so uh, is a method like if we have to go from let's say vrindavan to delhi we go by car so car is a medium so one of the meaning of the word yoga is this medium or a method or a way of solving something so similarly vishad can be made a medium or a way of solving our life's and ultimate problems so when we get a situation in our life it may be of two types it may be favorable or unfavorable so we can progress in both the situations favorable as well as unfavorable even in unfavorable situation also we can fall down and we can fall down in favorable situation also both are possible so it depends on our intelligence our wisdom how we utilize a situation so one of the meaning of yoga is upayog or upay or method or medium or way of solving something so when we have vishad or dejection so then vishad yog means how we utilize that vishad to progress in our life yo one of the meaning of your word yoga is to meet like in mathematics we may say that 2 plus 2 is 4 so their plus is yoga connecting or bringing together so how to uh, make vishad a yoga or a medium such that we can meet bhagwan this is what gita explains that is why it is called vishad yoga and why do we get vishad what is the primary reason cause primary reason that we have to understand the primary reason for vishad or dejection is our attachment asakti some people in attachment yani ke hamare kisi so it means that we have some attachment to some uh, object or some person or some post position or to some situation we are attached to that so that becomes a cause of our vishad why because in material world everything is temporary whether some person or some post or some situation or some object everything is temporary in this world so if we become attached to that now that when the situation will change or the person will change or the object will change either we have to leave that or that object or person that will leave us so there will be viyog between both separation so the anything that we have in our life it cannot be maintained in the same condition now we may our life may be going on very nicely that will also change with time because it is a journey तो हम चल रहे हैं हमारी यात्रा चल रही है चाहे हम एक जगह पर ही बैठ रहे हैं सो वी आर मूविंग अहेड ऑल दो वी आर सिटिंग इन वन प्लेस स्टिल वी शुड नॉट थिंक दैट वी आर नॉट मूविंग वी आर मूविंग एंड व्हाट एवर वी हैव करेंटली एंड वी आर हैविंग वियोग विद दैट सो देयर इज कंटीन्यूअस वियोग और सेपरेशन विद आवर एग्जिस्टिंग सिचुएशन so it is guaranteed that each and everything that i have i will have separation from that and when there will be separation i will become miserable if i am attached to that object or person or that situation then i will get into dejection if i am attached to that but if if i am not attached to that then i will not get into dejection so that is why the foundational the ultimate cause of vishad is attachment and this attachment makes us weak if we want to keep attachment so attachment to should be to such a person situation which is permanent 
परमानेंट इज ओनली भगवान सो इफ वी हैव अटैचमेंट टू भगवान देन वी विल नेवर गेट इन टू विषाद बिकॉज भगवान इज ऑलवेज भगवान ही वॉज एंड ही इज एंड ही विल बी भगवान दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज he was not made bhagwan by some voting not that after 5 years bhagwan will change there is nothing like that so politicians are always worried that now 5 years are getting over now how should i come back to agar wo aise rajnetaon mein aap so if we remain attached to such politicians they may get down after 5 uh, years then we will be in again trouble to isliye yahan aap जो भी आप संबंध है आपके आप समझ लीजिए सो हियर वॉट एवर रिलेशन वी हैव वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट दो रिलेशन आर टेम्पोरि बिफोर वी वेर बॉर्न दो रिलेशन वेर नॉट देयर दे हैव बीन मेड आफ्टर आवर बर्थ एंड वन डे दे विल रिलेशन विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड आइदर वी विल लीव देम और दे विल लीव अस और बोथ विल लीव इच अदर so in uh, nyaya shastra uh, if you have these two hands they are joined this is called sanyoga teen prakar se hota hai ek to ye hath so sanyoga happens with in two ways the right hand can come together to the left hand the left hand come towards right hand or both come towards each other so like that separation is also of three types right hand may leave the left hand left may leave right or both may leave each other so that will happen here that is why we have vishad or dejection so the primary cause of dejection is attachment aur uske karan jo hai fir hum so because of that we become bewildered our uh, intelligence does not work properly it becomes clouded clouded by darkness and we fall into tamogun the mode of ignorance aur jab hum theek se nirnay nahi and we are not able to take proper decisions and uh, because of that we take wrong decision and we act wrongly and we get the wrong result and we have to suffer for that so this is the cause of vishad now what is the importance of vishad that already i explained that that wish when we get vishad we should not uh, hate the vishad or dejection it is simply an opportunity for us to upgrade ourselves to move ahead to progress in life normally we think that in our life if everything if every situation is favorable then it will be great but it is not like that the unfavorable situations they are, they actually give us the lessons whatever good knowledge we have in our life most of that we have learned from unfavorable situations only from favorable situation mostly human being doesn't learn anything aapko ek so this uh, state of vishad or dejection gives us an opportunity to learn something if arjun would not have been in vishad or dejection arjun would not have learned could not have learned bhagavad gita the cause of bhagavad gita is actually arjun's dejection only if arjun would have said would not have said that i will not fight then there would have been no bhagavad gita nobody would have got this knowledge so this knowledge came out of uh, the dejection only so when we have unfavorable situation then and if we become alert and our intelligence awakens and it starts working when we are in some dangerous situation we start thinking how to save ourselves and when everything is favorable our intelligence gets rusted because we don't have any need to use our intelligence that's why vishad is extremely useful in our life but we have, we should understand how to utilize the situation of dejection how to make it a yoga that we have to learn that art and gita teaches us that art and because everyone gets this vishad there is no person in this world who we can say that i never ha- had vishad or i don't have vishad that is only possible that one is when one is a spiritualist that's why we should learn this so now we move ahead to the first word first verse of bhagavad gita bhagavad gita ka pehla adhyay ka the first verse of first chapter of bhagavad gita dhritarashtra uvach 
धर्मक्षेत्रे कुरुक्षेत्रे समवेता ये उत्सव माम कहा पांडव किम कुरुवत संजय so the beginning of bhagavad gita it happens with the question of dhritarashtra and this uh, he has asked this question to his secretary sanjay his question is that that in this uh, so here you can see the word meanings dhritarashtra vachar king dhritarashtra said that o oh, sanjay that assembled having assembled in the place of uh, dharma which is uh, named kurukshetra after king kuru with the desire to fight what did my uh, sons and the sons of king pandu did after that they do after that so these are the word meanings this is the translation that uh, king dhritarashtra said o oh, sanjay having assembled in the holy land of kurukshetra eager to fight what did my sons and the sons of pandu do so this is a very deep uh, question and uh, there is a lot of uh, tatva in inside this uh, one question so first of all we should understand the background of this question why this question was asked so actually this question in the, uh, it, it, this was not asked in the on the first day of the war at kurukshetra it this question was asked on the 10th day so, dhritarashtra is actually the first student of bhagavad gita who heard bhagavad gita first after arjun that is dhritarashtra and the speaker is sanjay so this uh, battle before this battle began uh, vyasadev he had uh, come to hastinapur he lives in uh, badrinath in himalaya he came from there he met uh, dhritarashtra he tried to explain to dhritarashtra that you are capable of stopping this war because you are king and uh, uh, you guys you should be ready to give uh, five pieces of land to the five pandavas but uh, uh, king dhritarashtra did not agree so then vyasadev said that your entire dynasty will get destroyed so vyasadev told dhritarashtra that if you want to see this war and i can give you the divine vision sitting here only you can witness the entire war so dhritarashtra rejected that offer he told that no i was blind my entire life now what is the use of uh, taking eyes and uh, witnessing the destruction of my dynasty so this is very surprising that some person is blind and uh, he should be very happy to get eyes to get vision but what happens is that in our life we are addicted we get addicted to every situation if we eat the wrong type of food we get addicted to that and we start liking that only like there is a story that there was a lady who was selling fishes and she went to sell fishes she was carrying the basket of fishes on her head one day she went to another village and from there at some distance her sister was there so she said that she thought that okay let me go and meet my sister but sister was not dealing in fishes so they were very happy they started discussing with each other they started discussing about their childhood so at night when it was time of for sleeping so she made a nice bed to sleep so the lady was not able to sleep only sister was asking what has happened why are you just moving here and there why are you not able to sleep she was telling she was telling that here i am not getting proper smell because 
she was uh, so addicted to the smell of fish so whenever wherever you will find lot of fishes you will feel lot of smell uh, bad or uh, foul smell you will not be able to stay there but this lady was so much addicted she was not getting the smell of fishes and she was feeling disturbed so the sister told that that what this basket of uh, fishes that you have brought spray some water in that and the smell will come out and then you will get sleep to aise hi maine padha tha ke so like this i had uh, studied earlier that when this uh, train had uh, arrived in india when the the driver he was uh, driving the train so there was continuous sound in that and the his building was near the uh, railway station so always he was getting sound so if he would not hear that sound he was not able to sleep only तो इस प्रकार से आदत हो जाती है। तो लाइक दिस वी बिकम वी गेट यूज टू सच सिचुएशन सो किंग धृतराष्ट्र सेट दैट नो आई डोंट वांट दिस विजन यू गिव इट टू संजय सो देन संजय गॉट दैट विजन तो संजय जो है वो वास्तव में युद्ध के क्षेत्र तो संजय वाज एक्चुअली इन द बैटल फील्ड Till ten days, Sanjay was also fighting. So all the young people they had to uh, they uh, got into the battlefield, and the, on the tenth day when Bhishma fell down, so it was such a it was a very big event on the battlefield. But nobody had even imagined that Bhishma he can also uh, fall down, and he will get attacked so severely that he will fall down from his chariot. because uh, uh, shikhandi came in front of bhishma and then bhim and uh, bhishma said that i will not fight because he considered shikhandi a woman and uh, he did not want to attack any woman with weapons and he had told this earlier only to king yudhishthir because uh, king yudhishthir he had uh, uh, gone to bhishma and he wanted blessing he told that you have blessed us that uh, we, uh, we should get victory but as long as you are on the chariot how can we win this battle so as long as because as long as bhishma was on the chariot there is no person in the three worlds who can defeat even lord parshuram who defeated kshatriyas 21 times even he could not defeat bhishma so then bhishma had said that if shikhandi comes in front of us then i will stop fighting and then you tell arjun that he should uh, attack me with the arrows because these arrows of shikhandi they can't do anything to me so actually it is said that bhishma fell down by the arrows of shikhandi but no actually he fell down by arrows of arjun so this was a very big event the bhishma falling down so sanjay he went to hastinapur from kurukshetra just to convey this news of bhishma getting attacked so when dhritarashtra heard this news then he asked this question he tell that tell me from beginning actually the question is meaningless because the battle was anyway going on so what is the point of asking so what is the uh, actual intention behind asking this he actually wanted to know in detail because if we hear some big news then we tell some person that tell me from beginning in detail what happened although we may know we may have some idea of what happened but still we want to know it in detail or varnan we want to uh, we want to get a very detailed description of the event so for that reason king dhritarashtra asked sanjay that uh, o oh, sanjay having assembled in the holy land of kurukshetra eager to fight what did my sons and the sons of pandu do to puri geeta jo hai keval isi ek so the entire bhagavad geeta is actually the answer to this one question because uh, uh, dhritarashtra did not say anything after this only sanjay kept on describing in the entire bhagavad geeta we don't find any interjection by dhritarashtra Uh, arjun and krishna's dialogue is there inside but that dialogue is actually inside the dial inside the discussion of dhritarashtra and sanjay and in that also 
in the out of 700 verses this is the only verse by dhritarashtra remaining all are actually spoken by sanjay so this is from where geeta begins and in the next session we will discuss this verse in detail there is lot of tatva in this particular verse and we'll try to understand it properly uh, we will stop here today if you anybody has any question kindly ask regarding uh, relationships in this material world mm. uh, how we can love without becoming attached so love without attachment is not possible no prashna hai ke is sansar mein hamare jo sambandh hai so the question is the relations that we have in this world how can we have loving relation without attachment actually love and attachment uh, they are synonymous only uh, without attachment how love is possible so this is actually not possible if you actually love somebody then there will be attachment that is what is taught in this world if you have this type of attachment then you will have vishad you cannot escape that uh, dejection that's one question gita jayanti happens on ekadashi but this question was asked on the 10th day so could you explain how how it came एकादशी कि भारत में बहुत बड़ा युद्ध हुआ था वैसे ही भगवत गीता का मतलब क्या होता है फिर से बोलिए बोलिए मीनिंग ऑफ भगवद गीता भगवद गीता मीन्स द गीत और द सॉन्ग ऑफ गीत गाया भगवान वेन भगवान स्पीक्स इट इज गीत ओनली चलते हैं तो नाचते हैं कथा गानम भगवान का चलना जो है वो नृत्य के समान है भगवान वॉकिंग इज लाइक उनका बोलना डांस इज स्पीकिंग इज लाइक सिंगिंग मनु ओके मनु हरिबोल महाराज यस ओके Uh, attachment leads to dejection how to deal with attachment in bhakti yoga in service let's say you, you are doing a service and you get thrown out of that service but you are attached to that then you get very sad should um, should you also not be attached to service service how to deal with this how to deal with this 
So, you have to deal with that also. Now, you have to see that this is also Krishna's arrangement. Maybe he is giving you better service. If you are eager to do service, you will always find service. So, Prashni is that in Bhakti, you are doing service, you can come to your service, but you have to be able to do your service. So, question is, if you have attachment and you are out of your seva, so, devotees, their shraddha is in Bhagavan. So, if being removed from some service, there must be some plan of Bhagavan. Uh, he must be trying to give mercy in some other way. So, you should think that there is some benefit for me in that also. No need to get dejected. Alka? Hare Krishna, um, Babaji Maharaj, uh, Pranam. Um, pehli baar mene suna aaj, so, qu question, first time I uh, learned today that Bhagavad Gita was actually spoken on the 10th day. That in the... So, this is actually a description that is being done by Sanjay. He is describing what happened in the past. Like if you see any news in the television, so somebody gave some speech somewhere, somebody where some accident happened, they show that this happened, this building fell down or something. It doesn't mean that when the news is being relayed, it is happening that time. It already happened. They just made a video recording and they are showing that. So, similarly, Sanjay is describing what already happened. Niruja? So, question, for understanding Bhagavan, is Vishad Yoga compulsory? Because uh, when we have dejection, then we can connect better and we can we are more serious in understanding. So Vishad or dejection is not compulsory. That but here it is being said that if there is Vishad, how you can convert make it a yoga? It doesn't mean that Vishad without Vishad or without dejection you cannot go to Bhagavan. If if you can convert Vishad to yoga, then Prasad you can make it yoga much easily. So, question when uh, even a great personality like Arjun, he got connected to Bhagavan when he got Vishad. So, answer it doesn't mean that you cannot understand Bhagavan without Vishad. Gita was told because Arjun was in Vishad and it was told for that. It doesn't mean that Gita cannot be studied without Vishad. ठीक है धन्यवाद मधुकर जी हरे कृष्णा महाराज आह आई हैव टू क्वेश्चंस फॉर आज मैंने वन थिंग इस आई हर्ड दैट द विशाद इज नेसेसिटी फॉर अस टू नो अबाउट आउटसाइड इन अ डीपर वे आह बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन आह बट माय कंसर्न इज दैट सो व्हेन वी आर डिप्रेस्ड व्हेन वी वांट टू नो आउटसाइड इन अ बेटर वे at the time, we also need a right person. So when situations are there in such a way that we don't have that person, most probably we may tend to lose that circumstances, lose that mind or lose that emotion or lose that kind of uh, mental uh, composure. So when we lose that sort of uh, receptance attitude in us, so what we can do uh, to better ourselves. So this is my first question, Maharaj. So the question is that, uh, is it necessary to have Vishad Yoga to understand ourselves? And then we also need a qualified person who can explain to us if we don't get such person, then our inquisitiveness will get destroyed. So, first of all, I want to clarify that I told earlier also that Vishad Yoga is, Vishad is not compulsory. 
इज नो सच कंडीशन दैट यू गेट नॉलेज ओनली इन विषाद इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज बींग शोन हियर दैट इवन इन सच सिचुएशन ऑल्सो वी कैन गेट नॉलेज ऑफ भगवान सो कैमुत्य न्याय इज अप्लाइड हियर दैट इफ एम ए स्टूडेंट इज इन फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड एंड ही गोज एंड टीचर समबडी इज इट दैट इफ ए फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड person you can defeat him then what can a phd student do you can totally destroy that is kaimutya nyay so if you can get knowledge even in uh, vishad or dejection then in in vishad yog then in pras, in, this, in good situation when you have prasad what all you can obtain that is what it means what we are trying to tell is that you don't you should not wait for the, the situation of dejection whatever situation we are in we should try to understand gita second point if we do not find qualified person and our enthusiasm gets destroyed so then we should try to hear nowadays lot of knowledge is available with satsang we get inquisitiveness so wherever we are try we should try to get satsang and we should try to learn something from the satsang so then our uh, inquisitiveness will be maintained it will in fact increased thank you maharaj uh, one minute one last question uh, in the shloka dharma kshetra kurukshetra samaveta yog samade it tells us kima kurvata sanjaya what have they done so but still nothing has happened there so what what does the shloka mean i'm not understand i'm not getting that word so this shloka just unka prashna hai ke so the question is that what what does this verse mean actually so i already said that in the next session i will uh, explain every word in detail what the word means kyon kaha unhone aur yuth sabha hone ke liye saath mein kyon karwat ki kya sangati hai so ye main agle usme kaksha mein uska varnan karunga डिजीज़ <laughs> So I'm feeling a uh, dire need of association, but uh, with phone calls, I've been in touch with many devotees, but still something is not satisfied in me. So I don't know how to get out of this feeling. So I need some devotees to, at least, um, I want to learn from them, but nobody is there with me because of my work schedule and other things. So I'm not able to come out of this feeling. So is there any suggestions for me in how to get into that? Mm, this kind of feeling is making me mad because nothing is satisfied in life like, like that sort of feeling is coming everything is there but some sort of satisfaction is not there just because of one reason that i am not in the midst of the devotees so aap mere pravachan hai english mein facebook par aur kya spotify ke hai so the answer is that i have a lot of lectures on bhagavatam on various platforms like facebook youtube spotify every day i uh, give class evening 8:30 on shrimad bhagavatam monday to friday you can hear that you can take the link from the devotees here chat mein likh sakte hain un link ko madhu if you are there you can send the link in the chat Uh, Maharaj, I'm listening. Uh, the to- I'm listening to your uh, Bhagavatam lecture, Maharaj. I mean, just that uh, nobody is there with me as a devotee, some uh, physical, so so that I can learn from them, so that I can be with them. So when I ask some important questions, I could directly ask them. So that sort of association I'm missing. That's it, Maharaj. Every I'm mean, I'm hearing your lectures in YouTube and even Spotify. I'm happy with that. But just that um, I have that lack. Uh, I'm not with any devotees. That is what my problem is. तो अभी तो घर को मालूम नहीं है आप कहाँ पर स्थित हैं अगर आप हैं तो आप 
so the answer is sometimes you can come to vrindavan and uh, i don't know where you are situated ran pujari ji hari krishna prabhu ji prabhu ji mera sawal actually do part hai pehle to aapne bataya ki vishad dukh hai disappointment hai dejection hai वो तो या तो आपके खुद के कर्मों से आएगा या फिर प्रभु जी दूसरों के कर्मों से भी हम दुखी होते हैं जैसे हमारी फैमिली फ्रेंड्स तो द क्वेश्चन इज वी गेट लॉट ऑफ मिजरी फ्रॉम फैमिली फ्रेंड्स एटसेट्रा आल्सो इट सीम्स एज इफ वी आर सराउंडेड ऑल द टाइम बाय डिजेक्शन बट समटाइम्स वी गेट हैप्पीनेस आल्सो इट्स लाइक अ मिक्सचर दैट वी कीप गेटिंग so within this uh, environment and i have now job also even in the in my work life uh, always there are ups and downs so amidst all this how can i keep myself composed so i started practicing that uh, reduce expectations from people from situations so i am trying to train myself to reduce expectations so people also they tell that if you want to excel in life you have to become competitive you need wealth also there is family you have to look after them also look after children their education marriage for that we need wealth so amidst this uh, rat race in this ye ye jo type of life uh, how to uh, how to learn bhagavad gita and apply it in our life how can we do that effectively we cannot leave our job we cannot leave our family will, there will be expectations there will be attachment how can we balance all that so now only started hearing you my first step was to hear you uh, that has started so the answer whatever work you do you can do it in anxiety or without that chinta turanam na sukham na nidra to aap job karte hain so you are doing your job so do your job but why do you have to keep anxiety it's not necessary that anxiety and job should always be together there is no rule like that like uh, you are uh, going in vehicle to delhi you may have worried that uh, my i will meet an accident this may happen that may happen many people keep thinking this only and one is that you are uh, driving what will happen anyway happen but from my side i drive properly carefully so what happens is that mostly bahut chintaen vyarth ki lot of our anxieties are useless which are of no value so in bhagavad gita bhagwan will tell about this that what is not in your control uski chinta karna vyarth being anxious about that is a waste of time so now you have to think that on whatever topic on which i am uh, worried you can make a list of topics on which you are worried and check uh, do you have any control on those topics about which you are worried like suppose uh, i become worried that i may get okay suppose i i have been told that i have a cancer and i will die in this much time now i may keep worrying and be anxious that i will die in this many month this many days and another point of view may be that anyway i have to die so why should i be worried about that means uh, there is no solution for that that anything happened that we, death is certain now what is the use of uh, whole day and night being worried what will happen to my uh, uh, family members my building my property but you can't do anything about that so isliye geeta mein bhagwan kehte hain usko aap yaad rakhiye so in geeta bhagwan says in there are lot of statements of wisdom of bhagwan in geeta tumar hasi main kehta hu ki ye करोड़ रुपए का एक वाक्य है सो दिस इज अ मिलियन डॉलर स्टेटमेंट अगर आप इसको याद रखें तो आपकी चिंता इफ वी रिमेंबर दिस देन यू विल बिकम फ्री ऑफ वरी तो भगवान इज टेलिंग समाधान करना दैट आर नॉट व्हेन देयर इज नो सॉल्यूशन फॉर एनीथिंग समाधान नहीं है दैट इज अपरिहार्य व्हेन यू डोंट हैव सॉल्यूशन लाइक आई गिव यू एग्जांपल सपोज इट हैज बीन टोल्ड दैट आई हैव कैंसर 
that there is no solution. We have to die means die. So what is the point of worrying about it? By worrying, my disease will it get solved or that problem will get solved? What is the benefit of being always worried? So mostly we are uh, worried about things all waste. So it has become our habit to always re remain worried. So we should apply our intelligence. So this uh, karma bandhan, this bondage, this is our uh, this all, uh, anxiety only. So in that we should apply our intelligence. Bhagavan has given us intelligence. Bhagavan has given a lot of emphasis on intelligence in Bhagavad Gita. We have to use our intelligence. That why am I being worried about this? We have been given a faculty of wisdom, intelligence in our life. We don't use that. And because of that, we always remain worried. So this uh, like Bhagavan here who is a charioteer, an analogy which is made that intelligence is the charioteer in our life and the mind are the reins of the horses. So Bhagavan is uh, representing here intelligence. He has given us intelligence. That's why he says that I am the intelligence of intelligent. Uh, intelligent, everybody is intelligent. Intelligent does not mean like Somebody is very intelligent that Bhagavan is not talking that intelligence. Like who is wealthy? If I have 10 rupees, that 10 rupees is also wealth only. So do I not have wealth? So even if I have 10 rupees, I am also wealthy only. So one who has less intelligence, he is also intelligent only. So everybody is that. So in Gita, Bhagavan is telling that I am the intelligence. But we don't respect that. So when Bhagavan is telling that I am intelligence, we don't respect Bhagavan, that we are not respecting that intelligence. So you, I recommend you to make a list of your anxieties and check that which all anxieties are actually useful. Uh, what On what you have control, you can remove that. And those anxieties about which you can't do anything. Let's say your boss is of very angry nature. Well, what can you do about that? You can keep getting worried. That's what we have to check here. So we have to, we should use our intelligence and improve our awareness. Uh, Namaskar, sir. So the question. Hello, So practically, if we are facing dejection, we should analyze what is that we are attached to. After doing this, what is the next step? The next step is not to be attached. <laughs> I told earlier only that your attachment, what you are attached to will anyway not remain. The object that will anyway be separated from us why if you keep uh, holding on to that that is be going to become the cause of your dejection what is anyway going to get separated from you you cannot stop it from getting separated you don't have any power of always maintaining it with you so and you are investing your attachment in that so you are yourself sowing the seed of your dejection this is what is being explained in gita so why to keep maintain that attachment so we have to first understand it properly. This is not so easily, uh, we don't get so easily it in our intelligence. We, we are always surrounded with worries and we always have that habit of always being in anxiety. 
we think that because of anxiety only we get motivation so little bit of some anxiety is understood that should be there otherwise we will not do anything but if we always remain immersed in anxiety then we can't do anything so that is why we have to check we have to try to analyze what are we getting out of this attachment but it is not so easy to get rid of that attachment it's very difficult why so difficult because we have always been used to that we have become accustomed we have become we have become addicted to always remain in anxiety so this anxiety uh, the attachment which is the main cause of our anxiety we have become addicted to remaining attached many people they smoke cigarette so actually what is a bigger foolishness than this you are taking some smoke inside your lungs isn't it and you are spending money also for that if you check properly what can what is a bigger foolishness than that that in your own body the machine or the organs by which we, my body is functioning on which my body is depending and on this body so many family members are depending i am putting smoke inside that body and knowing that this smoke is very dangerous the, the smoke doesn't give any benefit to the lungs and for that i am spending money also but we get used to addicted to that also we can't live without that one who has this uh, habit if you don't give him that cigarette he will die so the like this we get wrong habits so this is just for one uh, example one who is uh, used to drinking no matter his liver may get destroyed but he will drink like this uh, people are addicted to smoking same so like this this uh, chinta this uh, worry we remain addicted to that we remain attached to that if i don't have some anxiety we feel that our life is empty yeah i am telling the truth there are people like this that they don't have anything for which they are anxious or they have tension in their life so they keep creating tension this is how our mind works if i remove all your worries now then immediately you will create 10 new worries we have become addicted to this habituated we have become so habituated that we can't live without anxieties and worries lekin jis din aap bagair chinta ke rehna chahte ho but the day you will start living without this then you will start realizing that this is real life mohini puchti hai um kya man ka uddeshya shanti hai man ka uddeshya man ka koi uddeshya nahi hota what do you mean what do you mean objective of mind there is no objective of mind if the mind would have any objective like this it would have remained always it would have remained peaceful man koi vyakti thodi mind manas or mind is not some person who has some objective vidya chohan ji ठीक है बंद करते हैं और कोई है अनंत कृष्णा जी अनंत कृष्णा जी बोलो बोलिए चलिए ठीक है तो श्लोक हमारे कहाँ गए थोड़ा मंगलाचरण के श्लोक बोलते हैं सर्वोपनिषद गो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्ध गीता मृत 
ekam shastram devaki putra geetam ekam shastram devaki putra geetam eko devo devaki putra eva eko devo devaki putra eva eko mantras tasya namani yani eko mantras tasya namani yani karma pyekam tasya devasya seva karma pyekam tasya devasya seva karpanya dosho pahata swabhava karpanya dosho pahata swabhava पृछामि त्वां धर्म सम्मूढ़ चेता पृछामि त्वां धर्म सम्मूढ़ चेता यच्छ्रेयस्यां निश्चितं ब्रूहितं मे यच्छ्रेयस्यां निश्चितं ब्रूहितं मे शिष्यस्ते हम शादिमां त्वां प्रपन्नम् शिष्यस्ते हम शादिमां त्वां प्रपन्नम् यत्र योगेश्वर हा कृष्णो यत्र योगेश्वर हा कृष्णो यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर तत्र श्रीर्विजयो भूते ध्रुवानी तेरमतेर ममा कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नमः नमः पंकजनाभाय नमः पंकजमालिने नमः पंकजनेत्राय नमस्ते पंकजांग्रये भवे भवे यथा भक्ति ही पादयोस्तव जायते तथा कुरुष्व देवेशा नाथस्तवम् नो यतः प्रभो नाम संकीर्तनम् यस्य सर्व पाप प्रणाशनम् प्रणामो दुःख समनस्तम् नमामि हरिम परम ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत्